Okay. But it's early. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. President Obama has long said that he is a strong supporter of individual freedoms. What I've said and I continue to believe is that we don't have to sacrifice our freedom. The freedom to live as you choose. These are not just American ideas. They are human rights. You see, our predecessors understood that government could not and should not solve every problem. So why is the administration seemingly doing just the opposite, forcing Catholic nuns to pay for uh, contraception? Well, here to weigh in on their fight for faith is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Sounds like he believes, believes in freedom, just not religious freedom. Apparently not. Uh, you know, Obamacare, the 2,700-page statute with another 15,000 pages uh, of regulations, this has a lot of requirements and imposes on people and institutions. And if an institution employs 50 or more people, it has to provide those people with health care that, that affords, that offers sterilization, contraception, and abortion. A group of nuns, the little sisters of the poor, who have right. taken vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, have said, we don't believe in this. The Catholic Church doesn't permit us to believe in this. Right. It doesn't permit us to spend our money on it. Give us an exemption. The president gave an exemption to labor unions. Right. The president gave an exemption to certain corporations. The president delayed the onset of difficult to comply with regulations for his political pals. He is resisting mightily these nuns. Why? Yeah, why? It's very clear they don't believe in abortion. They don't believe in contraception. Not only do they not believe in it, believe. they condemn it, and the church condemns it. No, and apparently, I've, I've heard a story that apparently the administration said, okay, uh, ladies, sign this waiver, and you're off the hook, but they won't do it because they stridently don't believe in any of this stuff. And you have taken a look at the document provided by the administration, and they're asking the nuns to do something that is crazy. The, the government actually in its brief to the court asked the, uh, revealed that it asked the nuns, each of them individually, to state in writing what their religious beliefs are. That is reprehensible that the government would ask a person in America to do that in order for them to have the freedom to practice their religion. Here's, here's the problem. Barack Obama gives people exemptions from the law based on their politics, but not based on their religion. And the religion the freedom of religion, the, free, the right to practice your religion, the free exercise of religion is expressly protected from government interference in the Constitution, and he doesn't care about it. You feel so strongly about this. You have taken to the pages of the Washington Times today. You've written a great op-ed. If you would, would you read this excerpt that's in the paper today? If the government can tax you and me and selfless nuns for fidelity to long-held religious beliefs, while exempting others because of their fleeting political beliefs, then the free exercise clause of the First Amendment is meaningless. And the next phrase is, and our rights are in the hands of a congressionally enabled tyrant. Listen, I've been ranting and raving against the NSA since June. Sure. This got to me when I read the government's brief against these nuns. If you would like to read the whole article, go to foxnews.com and you will see the judge's opinion. And it is a good one. Thank you, Steve. And a lot of people feel exactly the same way. Yeah. All right. Um, email us about that, what they're asking the nuns to do. That seems odd, doesn't it? All right.